everyone excellent evening everyone we are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome to every one of us how are we happy new week <laughs> it's a new week a new week of wonders a new week of answered prayers a new week that god will show us mercy 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 from above we are all highly welcome so if you've joined me live you can greet so i can welcome you to this evening's broadcast Welcome, welcome to every one of us. It's um, it's so exciting to be with us again today. So very, very exciting to be with us today. All right, so today, like we all know, we're going to be looking at some very important symptoms of menopause. Their causes, their symptoms, how they you know manifest, and then the natural remedies for them. And of course, we know that it's due to the request of some of us who said, okay, now, 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 help us to handle this better. So that's um, why I decided to do this. So we're all highly welcome. If you joined me live, you can just greet. Good evening. So I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. I can see a lot of us have already joined me already. All right. So we're highly welcome 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 i'm just sharing 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 as usual in other groups so that people can um, join us live so if you joined you can as well go ahead and share 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 let's share so that other people can benefit from this evening's broadcast it's really really important because some of the things we chose are the things that are really common okay and a lot of people will need to know about it a lot of people will need to also here and here you don't know which one you will hear that we now catch you and really give you the how do i put it give you the the rema <laughs> you know sometimes when you hear things you just hear them and they go but then at other times when you hear the same thing it will just you know sink that thing will just sink and it will be like wow eureka i didn't know this before <laughs> And yes, yeah, sometimes it's something you've had over and over again, but it just didn't sink, okay? So that's why it's very important for us to share, 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 so that other people can join us this evening. I'm almost there. So if you've not shared, just kindly help me, okay? Send to a friend, send to a colleague in the office, send to someone who might be needing this, so that we can be blessings unto people. There is love in sharing, great love in sharing, sharing, sharing. So let's um, get going today. Great, great love in sharing. I'm sharing to the last group now. And then we get going. Where are you? Okay. Where are you? Right. Okay. Wow. So how, how have you been? How is your week? I hope it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. You can put it there for me. My week has been wonderful. Hello, Rosaline. You're welcome. Welcome, Dilwayo. I don't know how to pronounce this your name, but I think I'll just call you Fumsa. Okay, watching from South Africa. Fumsa, watching from South Africa. You're welcome. Welcome today. Thank you, Rosaline. Where are you um, listening in from? Hello, Esther. DBC, you're welcome. Victoria Kure welcome to this evening's broadcast okay we're all highly welcome i'm glad to have us in our midst today and today we are going to be looking at seven or eight important topics that we chose from last week remember that last week we looked at 70 symptoms of menopause okay and i've been getting a lot of calls in fact one woman called me from Ekiti State and she said, the 70s, what I'm going to, I said, no, madam, you can't be having the 70s. She said, I know what I'm telling you. I'm having 70, 70 symptoms, okay? <laughs> All right, so before maybe what I could do for us is before we just um, go into today's own, I might just um, quickly run through for you the 70 symptoms we handled last week. Monday, I will just read them through for us, and then it's out of it that we are choosing the ones we have chosen today to look at. I wasn't the one that chose them, I asked last week that people should please give me what they want me to treat very 
um go further in with okay look at them very very um critically and also say more things about it and people chose it. hello margaret oh rosalind from italy you're welcome so when you come in just say where you're listening in from okay it will help me when i'm answering your question i remember that rosalind is from italy i remember that uh, Funsa is from south africa all right so you're all highly welcome and please share 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 all right so um on last week monday we looked at 70 symptoms of menopause and i'll run through them for us number one is changing your menstrual cycle okay then number two is um heavy flow change is different from heavy flow okay so number one is changing your menstrual cycle which is normally universal for every woman and then we have the heavy flow we have the heavy flow as number two and then number three is migraine and headaches number four decrease motor coordination okay you are not really your your memory is not as it should be you don't coordinate you don't um your cognitive function is not as good as you be then the fifth, number five is lethargy number six is physical exhaustion number seven increase of chronic illnesses you begin to have a lot of chronic illnesses margaret is calling in from from abuja okay you're welcome number eight is insomnia lack of um, sleep number eight is sleep disturbances you wake up a lot from the sleep number nine is um number ten number nine is sleep disturbances number ten is night sweat number eleven is interferences with your dream recall and number twelve is muscle cramps number thirteen low back ache. number fourteen gallbladder symptoms and pain and spasm and discomfort 15 is frequent urination and then 16 is urine incontinence okay urinary incontinence number 17 is hypoglycemia reaction 18 is food cravings 19 is increased appetite to just feel like eating and eating and eating and then number 19 20 is like that that circles under your eye and 21 is joint and muscle pains aches and sore joints muscles and tendons 22 is increased tension in your muscles. 23 is increased hair loss. 24 is increased of facial hair. Okay, you begin to see hair coming out on your face. And then on 25 is unusual growth, hair growth in certain parts of your body. 26 is acne. 27 is infertility. 28 is loss of breast tissue. You know, your breast becomes flatter. And then remember that I told us that last week, some of the supplements you can use to handle all these symptoms. 29 is breast soreness, which we're also going to look at today. Tenderness and pain in the breast. Then 30 is painful and tender nipples. 31 is cold extremities, okay? Feeling quite strange. All the extremities will be feeling cold and then you will be feeling strange in them. Then number 32 is being accident prone. 33 is hot flushes. 34 is loss of sexual energy. 35 is painful sex. At this menopausal stage, you begin to feel pain okay when you're having sex and then 36 is vaginal dryness and irritation 37 is dizziness 38 is ringing in your ears or tinnitus we're going to look at it today okay and then abdominal bloating is 39 40 is weight gain 41 is fluid retention or edema 42 is palpitation and heart racing remember okay coming june we are going out of menopause for a while we'll still come back to it except if somebody asks a question that is also important all right so 43 is irregularity in your heartbeat 44 is constipation or diarrhea 45 is tendency towards candidiasis okay when if people who are having it before will have it will become almost it won't even go and those who are not having it if they don't handle their toiletries and things like that very well they begin to have infections okay that's 45 46 is gastrointestinal dis distress okay and 47 is slow digestion 48 is lack of appetite 49 is changes in body odor that was why i told the woman who told me she had the whole 70 i said you can't have the whole 70 because included in it is lack of appetite and then again cravings and overeating so how will you have the two all right 49 is changing your body odor 50 is puffy eyes you see people having all these puffy puffy eyes on that and then 51 is facial polar alternating with 
facial flushes and then you have 52 is flares in your arthritis it will worsen and then 53 is loss of bone density or osteoarthritis 54 is dry hair changing your skin tone and integrity and texture and that's why collagen is very very important for you at this period i will never you know i bless the day i got this product it's one of the products i don't miss it if they don't have it in Nigeria, anywhere it is in the world, I'm going to I buy it and I make sure I use it. Not for customers, for me, oh. <laughs> but you can join me and be a fan of collagen. It's, 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 it's infinite feminine complex. It keeps your body firm. All right, then we have 55 as changes in your fingernails that characterized by easy breakage, bending, cracking, and getting softer. And then 56 is itchy, craw itchy clawy, and um, crawly. Um, skin with strange sensation you're having for some forms of sensation and then 57 is muzzle tone which seems to slag especially maybe in your jaw area okay and then pelvic pain is 58 59 is dry itchy eye that's why you need your eye vision 60 is teeth your teeth will be aching and you will be having that sensation in your teeth and then 61 it changes in your normal tongue sensation sometimes you wonder if you're really eating food if you're getting the taste of food 62 is memory loss or lapse lapses in time and i told us that forever focus is what you need and my focus from america is landing tomorrow morning wow all right 63 is feeling faint for no just reason you will just be feeling faint and just like me i have my rg concussion this is what i use to make sure that energy pops in and then i do what i'm supposed to do because it's very important you do the needful pardon me i love my drink all right if i tell you to guess what's on my drink hardly can anybody get on so but if you want to try you can try if you get it i give you my aloe lip okay try what's in my bottle today what's in my bottle today all right, so 63 is feeling faint for no just reason, like I said, and 64 is tingling extremities, okay? You'll be having this kind of tingling extremities. 65 is sensation of electrical stimulation. 66 is increase and worsening of allergies. You begin to have a lot of allergies. 67 is bleeding gum. 68 is depression. 69, anxiety. And 70, mood changes, all right? So... Like I said, today we are going to be looking at some of these menopausal symptoms that you chose that we should look at. So we'll go through it. I'll just greet us and then we'll get going. I wouldn't want to stay much more than we need to today. Okay? I, I just love for us to be finishing on time these days. Let me just greet us. And welcome, Onye Machichi Nyere. Welcome, Oninye. You're here. You're watching from Lagos. Thank you for joining me. Good evening, Helen Juma from Otta. Zanella, how are you? It's been a while, Zanella from UK. It's been a while. I missed you. Chat me now. <laughs> Atinike Michels, you're welcome. Kate from Ghana. Kate is now one of my 100 influencers. Can you imagine? Kate is in Ghana. And she's one of my 100 influencers that I'm raising this 2022. She actually finished up her sign up last month and she has started the school. And Kate is doing very, very well. Kate, you're welcome from Ghana. Thank you for trusting me. Remember, I'm raising 100 influencers, people who use their passion, their hobbies, their talent, their burdens, you know, what they love doing to be able to reach every other person, okay, in the whole world. Kate is in Ghana and Kate is doing very well. Kate loves um, drinks. She loves them um, light ultra and she's using them to make some nice, nice things. And she's also selling the benefits to women of her age all around. And she's already touching lives. Okay. Very soon. I'm going to be doing some programs for her in Ghana also right from this, my sitting room here. <laughs> Not, well, anytime I travel to Ghana, of course, you know that we just have to meet. So if you want to be one of those 100 influencers, I'm going to drop my WhatsApp number on my screen now. So my WhatsApp number, my WhatsApp number is plus 234-703-515-1642. Plus 234-703-515-1642. And I'll pin it for us so that we'll be able to chat me if you want to become one of the 100 
influencers that we are raising this year the number is going you know going down 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 don't wait to be among the last once we hit that hundred i'm stopping because i have to spend time training people here and there so you can be one of the hundred influencers thank you kate oh yeah or here your your thank you for joining deborah oj all the way from usa you're welcome deborah we're waiting for you to join the hundred influencers esther samuel you're welcome um chims when being coloma where are you calling in from i love that name nadina powell oh you're what well you're your good evening from talks and chai Coast island wow great i love the name of that island i hope i visit it one of these days hello good evening if you don't care or bass you're welcome 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 all right so we'll just go in go um to what we're supposed to be doing today today we are going to be looking at seven or eight of those symptoms of menopause that we mentioned out of the 70 low back aches muzzle cramps discharge three ringing in the ear four breast tenderness five constipation six and heat under your feet seven okay those are the seven we're going to be looking at today because you asked me to talk about them more today so that's why i'm doing justice to what you have asked so of course we all know that a woman reaches menopause after she has not seen her period for 12 consecutive months and remember that i told us the first stages of a woman's life is puberty pre-menopause perimenopause menopause and post-menopause okay i added puberty they are all p p p p p p p puberty when a woman just a girl now goes out from being a baby to being a full-grown lady it's a lady okay because from puberty any girl no matter the age can actually get pregnant so but when they are still very tender that tender age before we call it the childbearing age is puberty then from puberty you enter your premenopause and premenopause is the childbearing age that prime age that every woman should look forward to to have all her babies okay that's the best time to have your babies during your pre-menopause that's the best best time when your body is strong is you know firm enough is ready to carry those pregnancy and give back to those children all right then after that you now enter perimenopause which is peripheral stage of menopause and then you now enter menopause and then postmenopause. so we go from maybe like 9 10 to like um, puberty, you know, some children enter even earlier than nine these days to maybe like 12, some as late as 15. And then you now enter the premenopause, which can be maybe from 15, 18, normally 20, 25 best, okay, to up to 35. 35 is getting late. And then some people have perimenopause early, what we call premature menop perimenopause for 35 years, 40 and then they now enter real perimenopause 40 45 okay to 50 and then menopause around 50 51 55 and then post menopause after that so i've handled that looking at age what is very very peculiar about this period of menopause perimenopause menopause and post menopause is that it follows a transitional period you know when your estrogen and your progesterone level in the body fluctuates unpredictably they fluctuate unpredictably. So we are handling lower back pain at this period, okay? Lower back pain at this perimenopausal and menopausal period. We are not talking about those young ladies or pregnancy period. We are talking about perimenopausal lower back pain and perimenopausal back aches okay all right nk wax you're welcome all the way from zaria kaduna chibuzo you're welcome oji taju you're welcome tai will love it you're welcome to this evening's broadcast and Ngozara, you're welcome so lower back ache what causes it oestrogen as we know it does a lot of things but it also helps to maintain the tissues that contain the collagen in our bodies okay and these are found in our intervertebral discs and research associated the lower oestrogen level that follows menopause to more severe lumbar disc degeneration and also increased back ache in women compared to men of similar age all right because there is reduction in your oestrogen level remember that your oestrogen helps to maintain the tissue that contains the collagen found in your vertebral disc 
So when you enter menopause, because of reduced estrogen, this tissue is not working as it, it, it should. So there are a lot of possible causes that could bring lower back ache for us at this period. And they include muscular pain, okay, or strain. Or, you know, when you have herniated discs, or problem with your SI joints, or sometimes kidney stone. Okay, kidney stone can actually bring lower back ache. That's why it's very, very important for you to keep drinking water. One of the causes of kidney stone is lack of um, water. Dehydration, okay, is one of it. So you need to keep drinking water. And then there are some kind of um, issues like bone, um, loss of bone density. Like I told us that with um, menopause, one of the symptoms is lack of bone density. So all these are some of the things that could cause lower back ache for you okay and again also your sitting habits your lifestyle it can also cause it if you have a lifestyle or a job your job okay is also part of the thing that could cause it if your job entails your sitting a lot you're sitting down for long hours if you continue sitting for long hours on static chairs it could cause lower back aches for you also. And so that's why, like I always tell us, there are four things you must do. Four life things you must always keep near you and always watch. It's like um, evaluation, something you need to evaluate. Areas you need to evaluate yourself every day on. Areas you need to watch. They are number one, diet. Number two, exercises. Number three, lifestyle change and then supplementation. All this could either help if you do it correctly or hamper you know your 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 health so what are the symptoms of lower back ache okay the the pain that is dull and achy that is only at your lower back it is dull it's achy and but it's just at your lower back you find out that every other place is okay except in that lower back and sometimes it's stinging it has this burning pain that moves from the lower back to the backs of your thigh okay it will move from that your lower back and it will do as if it's going down to the back of your thigh as if the pain is moving okay and sometimes it actually goes up to your lower leg and even down to your your feet and it could also include it cannot degenerate to numbness and tingling sensation in your lower and um, under your feet Yet, you might be thinking that that's where it's originating from, but it's actually from your back. Because, you know, our nerves go all the way to our feet from there. So when you've allowed that pain to stay for long, it will degenerate and it will start moving. Some people call it moving arthritis. It will begin to move all the way from that lower back to your thigh, down to the back of your knee, down onto your, your ankle and then to your feet that's how it moves and again another symptom of lower back pain is muscle spasm and tightness in the lower back tightness in your pelvis and tightness in your hip everywhere we look so heavy we we'll feel so heavy and also that pain can actually work so after prolonged sitting or prolonged standing when you take a certain position for a long time the pain will tend to increase okay and then difficulty standing up when you sit down and you want to stand up you find you will just be holding things you know because of that lower back pain. initially you might not know that that's what's happening to you you will just feel oh but you will know that it's lower back pain that is happening and sometimes also difficulties in walking or going from standing to sitting or from sitting to standing okay so what are the remedies number one you must take plenty of water you must remain hydrated so that you will have better blood flow. And then you need to balance your, your blood sugar and also improve your diet. If you're having um, either low blood sugar or high blood sugar, it could also bring that back ache for you. Hello, Kiru Omega, you're welcome. Welcome, Ozomwane. Welcome, Adefoluke. Adefoluke. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Also, you need to add to your diet natural cytostrogen, okay? To, and then take a lot of dark leafy vegetables and berries. You need to take a lot of dark leafy vegetables and berries. 
and well if you can't get this i hope they dropped all my supplements for me it's like i don't have them all here now wow <laughs> all right i've already shown us a lot of supplements in time past but then um, i'll see how much they have here today i didn't come out with my courses and my bags but cytostrogen is very very important for you something like um fields of green fields of green will give you natural cytostrogen okay Vitalized women again can give you natural cytostrogen and of course the one in the sachet that I always mix for us And then you also need to follow anti-inflammatory diets, okay? On Wednesdays, you, you sure know that I teach you diet. I teach you recipes that are anti-inflammatory That are whole meal that can actually give you health. Like today. What did I have for my pancake? I had banana oats, okay? cinnamon eggs for my breakfast i use it to make my pancake for my breakfast and then i took um water okay to have it because already because of the banana i had enough sugar in there and sometimes i'll just do a shake with my light ultra and take that oats pancake now again another very important thing you need to watch if you're having lower back ache is that your magnesium you're taking enough magnesium because it can really help with relieving you of those stiffness those joints and muscle pain okay you need magnesium a lot magnesium will help you and then you need to keep moving now if you're looking for magnesium there are some foods that can give you magnesium but our nature main is one supplement that contains enough magnesium for you and then i just discovered our forever daily this is a daily supplement that can give you daily need it's like having your daily enough nutrients, enough um, micronutrients and macronutrients that you need in a day. Fantastic. When I opened this, I was like, wow, I didn't know all these are contained here. In fact, it has vitamin A. What I have here, it has vitamin A. It has vitamin C. It has vitamin D. It has vitamin E. It has thiamin, it has riboflavin, it has niacin, it has vitamin B6, it also has a biotin, it has calcium, it has iron, it has iodine, as potassium, magnesium, it has zinc, it has selenium, it has copper, okay? And it, 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 it actually has its um, A-beta carotene. This supplement is one of our best supplements forever daily. And it's very very affordable every woman in her menopausal stage should be using this supplement okay and also again another natural remedies is that you need to keep moving move 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 all right let's go into muscle spasm hello bolatito you're welcome welcome abos de lawani welcome shama you're welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome miss samba logging all the way from cotton how are you ma I hope you're doing well. Welcome, Osan Kati. You're welcome. All right, so muscle spasm. What causes muscle spasm? If you start to get aches and pains during menopause, okay, it means that your oestrogen is playing a part. It's because of the fluctuating oestrogen or decline in your oestrogen, you're having such uh, muscle cramps and spasm. And oestrogen also affects your cartilage. Your cartilage is the connecting tissue connecting your joints okay and as well as replacement of your bones so it plays a part in inflammation and pain oestrogen plays a major part in inflammation control of inflammation and control of pain so replacing your reduced or erratic oestrogen with natural foods and supplements and better lifestyles would actually help if you're having muscle spasm or if you're having cramps in your muscles don't take them for granted there are other causes of um, muscle aches okay which are actually not related to menopause but that's not what we are dealing with today remember we are looking at menopausal symptoms today for example bad posture or poor posture particularly sitting in the same place or in the same position looking at a screen like those of us who work with computers it's a very big culprit to muscle cramps and muscle spasm and like i tell us one of the biggest solution you can have 
if you're working in a place or you have your own business and you have to sit for a long time, buy fitness ball. I can't overemphasize this. I can't say this. I will keep saying it because it's something that has helped me and has helped hundreds of women. There are women who have gone off their drugs because of simply using their fitness ball. Mine is very close by. It's less than 30 seconds to me, okay? So once I sit on my chair for one hour, two hours at most, I will move that this chair, no matter even if it's the most expensive chair. I'm moving it away and getting my fitness ball. Because when you sit on your fitness ball, your muscles are moving. It's not in one place. So you will not have atrophy of disuse. Not only that they are moving, they can also help to massage. Because they, as you are on it, it's rolling you. You can't sit in one place. It's massaging you. So fitness ball can help with poor posture. And poor posture leads to backache. Poor posture can also lead to muscle cramps, okay? Stress is another thing that can cause muscle tension and muscle pain and lack of sleep, okay? So these are the causes of muscle cramps. Then what are the remedies? remedies? Number one, exercise. Exercise is very, very important. You know, I keep telling people, people who are having pain, they will say, no, they don't want to exercise. Well, exercise is one of the, the cure of pain. Let me take my drink. <laughs> Remember, I say, who can guess what's in my drink? <laughs> A lot of us are not trying because they say, hey, this drink that is like this. I promise you, you won't get it. <laughs> you won't get it. But I have a powerful tonic here. If you stay till the end, I'm going to tell you what that powerful tonic is. Powerful tonic and antioxidant. All right. Good evening, Grace Prosper. Good evening, Princess Omom. Good evening, Olusheyi. Good evening. <laughs> Chibuza says Zobo. Far from it. <laughs> it's not Zobo. And it's later than nearly put Zobo in it this evening. No? And I say, no, let me not put Zobo. <laughs> so Chibuza, you didn't get it. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, now, exercise is very important for you to remedy muscle cramps. And then weight control. You need to control your weight. And remember that I'm doing promo for those of us who want to join me. In our session, another session of Clean 9, Clean 9 will help you to lose weight. Clean 9 helps you to lose weight. Incidentally, I wanted to play in an audio of one of my clients that just finished Clean 9. But it's in this camera. I'll be in this phone I'm using to do the live uh, video. I'm going to transfer it to this other phone. Maybe on Thursday, on Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. If I remember on Wednesday, I'll transfer it so I can play it for you. If you are not losing weight, you have not tried clean nine. If you have done it and you didn't lose weight, you didn't do it under me. You didn't do it well, okay? I promise you, clean nine is one of the miracles that can give you weight, help you to lose weight, chronic weights that have refused to go down. Clean nine will help you. So if you're having muscle spasm, make sure your weight is under control, your, post, your posture, and your work environment are okay then have a look at your working environment and try not to stay in one position all day or for long hours have short breaks remember what i told you keep your water i have my bottles okay once it's empty i will go out to go and fill my bottle again from the water dispenser this will make me to move and then again you need to reduce stress and sleep if you're not sleeping well you're going to have secondary diseases that's the truth if you're not sleeping well arthritis can come up backache can come up diabetes can come up fatigue can come up lack of sleep and insomnia is culprit to many diseases and that's why i'm an advocate of our blossom tea blossom tea will help you sleep like a baby any day any time and it's very very affordable Okay, how much can you pay for secondary disease? And how much do you, does this tea cost you that can give you that sleep? And you know the good thing about this tea, if you take it for some time, for a long while, it will train your body to sleep. It will train your body to sleep. You will just begin to sleep naturally. It's not a, 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 a tea that you keep taking, 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 taking. Some other tea that have chamomile and the rest can keep you to sleep, but you will need to keep taking them. Blossom tea does more than that. Blossom tea goes to give your body what your body needs to heal itself and then to begin to sleep 
the way you need to sleep. That's the difference between blossom tea and other tea, okay? So sleep is very, very important for you. Then number three that we're going to be looking at today is discharge. Okay, during menopause, vaginal dryness and discharge are the two most common complaints of many women. And with changes in your hormone levels, you know, um, discharge occurs during menopause. People may experience a variety of symptoms, okay, including vaginal discharge, itchy, dryness. And women who are menopausal have minimal vaginal discharge as a result of lower level of oestrogens, okay? So it's not actually supposed to come down much. But in women who are now pre-menopause, it is normal to have approximately like one and a half um, teaspoon, that's like about two to five ml of white or clear, thick mucus like and mostly other lost vaginal discharge every day. If somebody is in pre-menopausal stage, okay? But for some, the discharge is due to infection. So you need to be very, very careful. All right, if it's smelling, if it's um, reddish in color, as if there's tint of blood coming with it, then it's infection and you need to quickly get to your um, doctor and do your test, okay? All right, hello. Oh, uh, my host says she, she just woke, woke up. Where are you calling in from that you're just waking from sleep? Or is this siesta or what? Anyway, thank you for joining us. All right, Janet, Olani, or welcome. Welcome, Ifoma. Glory to this uh, evening's broadcast. Nkiru, Kaya, welcome. Kiru is asking how much the tea is. Nkiru, chat me on my WhatsApp number that is pinned on the screen. Plus 234-703-515-1642. And I'll be telling you the price of the tea. It's very, very affordable and it's going on discount promo this period. Because I want every woman to sleep well. One woman was giving me the testimony of her blossom tea. And she just said, I just want to keep this pack near me again, okay? But I'm sleeping very well now. That's what made me explain for that to us how it's different from other tea. All right, only precious, you're welcome. MK was, Ma, what do you use to take the tea? Do you use milk or sugar? I just take it plain. It's very, very sweet. Let me not say sweet. It's very tasty, okay? The tea, it's, you don't really need anything, but you can use honey if you want, but not milk. Just water. I just brew my tea and I take it. Sometimes, like the one I'll take this night now, I've brewed it and I've put it in the fridge. I'll just take it. I love cold things. When I'm in some places where there are a lot of AC, remember it's very, very hot this season. That's why I put it in the fridge to take it cold. When I'm in very, very hot season, I just brew it like that. And when I'm finishing, I lick down my tea bag because there is some sweet taste that comes from it. All right. So be very, very careful that the discharge you're having is not smelling. It doesn't have like um, blood or um, tinted like red on it. If it is, you need to meet your doctor. Now, remedies for discharge. There are water-based creams, okay, that, can, that contain oestrogen that can help and also maintain lubrication. Like we have one in Forever and it's, um, it's aloe vera. Remember that aloe vera is cytostrogen based, okay? So this is pure aloe vera, stabilized aloe vera, aloe vera. This cream does not leave my bag. I have it in my travel bag. I have it beside my bed because it does a lot for me. It's not only good for um, your vagina during sex, it's also very good for people who are having dryness or people who are having some kind of discharges you can put it there to help to maintain a good um, atmosphere for you there i also use it for my hair okay it's pure aloe vera so all the work that aloe vera will do it does it for you of course we know that aloe vera jerry is one of the best lubricants that you can ever have it's very very good then after the menopause any new discharge that you have including pink brown or smelly discharge should be reported immediately to the doctor like i told us and then what do you do? Eat um, a range of meals, including cytostrogenic foods, okay? I've already told us some of the foods that contain cytostrogen, like flat seed, berries, carrots, apples, okay? Lentils, okay? All these foods have oestrogen, cytostrogen, which mimics the oestrogen in our body. And if you can lay your hands on some of these things, fields of green has like about 10 different vegetables. And then our super green 22 vegetables. In fact, super green is very, very good replacement from uh, cytostrogen because it's very, very good. 
and then of course i've already mentioned forever daily for you these are some of the ones that can help you if you if you're having this charge and but if it's infection chat me on my whatsapp number plus two three four seven zero three five one one five one six four two and i'm going to be telling you what you can use to remove that infection and then another remedy is that you need to keep your vagina area clean and hygienic and then wear loose fitting underwear don't wear tight underwear like a lot of us that are um, fond of wearing tights and wearing girdles okay if you must wear girdles if it's your belly you want to take it buy girdles that can take in your belly and leave that area free it's very very important or if it's your bum you want to take it, buy the ones that can leave the front area free for you. Because you need air there. You need, you need it loose so that you don't get infections and you get infected and you begin to have some of those um, um, discharge and then you begin to have um, inf um, all those issues with um, infections around there. Okay? Then you also need to do pelvic floor exercises. Pel pelvic floor exercises will help to increase blood flow and blood circulation in those areas and can also help to encourage the vagina to produce more discharge that can push out the infected ones okay so if you're suffering from a smelly discharge you need to be very very sure that you use pant liner also pant liners can help absorb that odor especially if it's smelly and keep you feeling clean and refreshed all day there are many pant liners out there that are very good that you can lay your hands on and buy then number four is ringing in the ear which is called the tinnitus ringing in the ringing in the ear or the tinnitus all right let me take um Nkiruka, i've already said it um just chat me on my whatsapp number and i'll tell you how much the tea is hello eunice you're welcome um janet good evening MK was says okay now I've answered MK was all right hello Celine you were hi you're welcome peace good evening excellent teaching thank you very much all right so 43 ringing in the ear ringing in the ear is an an internal occasional and continuous ringing in one ear or some some people it happens in both ears with different pitches you know but the noise is unique for everyone people have their different different ways okay and for some it might be an engine sound for some it will be and some it will be it depends it just varies from people to people whichever one you're hearing is it can be very very unbearable i know a woman that suffers for her for a long long time and she had gone to every hospital in nigeria they even referred her to um, to go for for surgery in, in in indian because of it it can be very very unbearable and it's possible that your hearing may change okay or you may even develop ringing in the ears as you approach menopause okay the onset of ringing in the ear we may seem to be particularly related to periods of hormone variability when the hormone is becoming erratic when is it that dropping or uh, rising? Remember I told you that during perimenopause, your um, hormones are very, very erratic. They are very, very stubborn. Let me put it that way. They just behave the way they like. So it can actually be triggered also. Tingling in the ear sometimes happens to young ladies who are having their period, especially for those who are having premenstrual pain. And during perimenopause, menopause, or some people during pregnancy. But menopausal symptoms such as sweating, Hot flushes and mood changes are also correlated to ringing in the ear. So what causes it? Some women also experience changes in their hearing or develop this ringing in the ear as menopause, their menopause is approaching. Okay, And there is a current research that indicates that it's related to a drop in estrogen level. Although scientists do not exactly understand how estrogen is linked to hearing, but a large proportion of people suffering from ringing in the ear, one thing they lack is vitamin D. They have the studies they did, they found out that people who are having issues with ringing in the ear have vitamin D deficiency. And vitamin D is actually correlated to ringing in the ear. It's also common also for people who have um, um who are having ringing in the air to have um, their breasts to be getting bigger or smaller 
you know it's also related to it so um this could actually happen to them so what are the remedies reducing your stress level and relaxing can help you then deep breath okay if you take deep breaths when you're having that ringing in the ear and plenty um relaxation techniques okay then sometimes listening to very soft music or sound therapy can also help you and then making sure you get supplements that have vitamin d we help and some of our supplements with vitamin d are calcium our calcium the good thing about forever calcium is that it's embedded with vitamin d and remember that you need vitamin d to be able to digest calcium that's why forever made their own vitamin calcium to come with vitamin d okay and again our super forever daily is important for people who are having ringing in their ear and again emu blend okay you can have any you don't have to take the three can either get your forever daily get your car to put it on all right so number five is breast tenderness breast tenderness is number five and the hormone fluctuation in menopausal women commonly cause breast pain okay so breast also known as mastalgia is also very common during menstruation okay when your men also have it and this is because hormonal change will cause fluid to build up in your breasts making them feel swollen and tender because of that accumulation of fluid during me me menstruation or during your per perimenopause period okay and then during perimenopause the hormonal fluctuation can also be very very dramatic causing this so how does it come what are the symptoms breast pain during perimenopause is more likely to feel like a burning or soreness okay and you may actually feel warm breast feel it on one breast or you feel it on both breasts and not all women experience breast discomfort in this way but the pain may feel sharp stabbing and throbbing and if you're having it, what do you do? Yes, supportive bras, okay? That will fit you comfortably. Eh? Keep fashion apart if you're having breast soreness. Handle the issue first of all. And then exercising. Exercises that can actually allow better blood flow to your breast can help. And then also applying warm compress. And then avoid smoking, okay? And take a lot of hot shower before you go to bed. And of course, reduce your... Um, alcohol intake for those who are taking alcohol fiber can also help you fiber will help balance out your estrogen level eat more fiber food like broccoli spinach kale broccoli sprouts cabbage blueberries strawberries mangoes and guava okay so that's why me i'm taking mangoes tea today that's what is here i have mangoes tea I have pomestin, I have cranberry, all in our forever pomestin power. Okay, I just wanted to take some plenty of those. So that's what I have here. Then you also need whole food, whole grain, which will also um, improve your hormonal level, reducing the severity of the breast tenderness and swelling. Eat more of soy based food, such as forever life. This can help you. Someone has just been calling me. And then again, um, Take a lot of uh, beans porridge. They can do wonders for you. Hello, Marianne. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome. Marianne Etten, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Okay, so some of the foods also that can help you during this perimenopausal season for all the symptoms we have been talking about is like lean seed, cereals, salads, soups, smoothies. Take fresh vegetables in smoothies, okay? It will really help you. Omega-3 fatty acid oil if you don't have one get our active c active c will help you because this active c can replace your taking salmon mackerel sardines okay if you don't find them especially for those of you who don't like fish make sure you have at this um middle age you need a uh, plenty fish but if you don't like them then get your omega-3 fish oil and keep vitamin e will also help to regulate your hormonal changes and reduce this breast pain eat more of sunflower seeds almonds spinach they are going to help you number six is constipation 
I'm running fast because we need to finish soon. Constipation is common in postmenopausal women, okay? People who have already stayed for 12 calendar months without having their period. If you're on postmenopausal, constipation is one of the symptoms. And it may be a result of decline in your hormonal level, such as estrogen and progesterone. And it may actually worsen, you know, because of weakened pelvic floor muscles. And that's why I'm an advocate of Kegel exercises, fitness ball exercises that can help build your core muscles, okay? As hormones shift again during menopause, you may encounter a series of digestive health changes, including gassing, bloating, and shifting your bowel movement. you find out that you might not be able to, if it's someone who is going to toilet before in the morning, you won't be able to go in the morning again during your postmenopausal symptoms. So how does the symptom of constipation manifest? When you're constipated, it can be very, very difficult for you to completely empty your bowels, okay? You just find out that even after going to the toilet, you will feel as if something is still inside. Get extra support for your stool to move. And then other symptoms of constipation include straining to void and having stools that are hard small and lumpy okay and you may actually get uncomfortable or have an overall sluggish feeling so what are the remedies for constipation increase your activity level let me tell us something from a routine that when you wake up in the morning okay let me tell you my routine now hey don't tell me they remove this from my table what did i do to this my people no? <laughs> okay when i wake up in the morning the first thing i take one full bottle of water with my Pro B. I will take one Pro B. This is probiotic, okay? Of course, we all know what probiotic can do. I will take one, one capsule from my Pro B with one full bottle of water. And then after that, I'm going to drink my aloe vera gel, okay? After that, maybe like five minutes or so, I will take my aloe vera gel. I will take half glass of my aloe vera gel. I will drink it and I'll take some more water and I will move out immediately. To go and have my morning praise work. I call it praise work because that's when I thank God for yesterday. I thank God for today. And I thank God for all the things I need to do. So I walk about for between 30 minutes to one hour every day. Thanking God, praying in tongues. As I'm doing that, the next thing is my boils will move. If it hadn't moved, many times it moves when I've just taken my pro B and my water. My boils will move because this helps with bowel movement. When it moves, I'll go to the toilet. Then when I finish taking that one hour walk, I'll notice that my boys are moving again. I'll still go to the toilet again, okay? So you need to keep up with your activity. If you, you're living a sedentary lifestyle, you're going to have constipation issues, okay? Then take plenty of fiber. Even if you don't get fiber in your food, you can decide to take fiber supplements. They are healthy. They are natural. They are okay. Take your fiber supplements, okay? It will help with your bowel movement also. And then make sure you take plenty of water. You need to stay hydrated. And use your stool to assist your body. Like I always tell us, under my, my, my chair here, yeah, I have my stool. Okay, let me just bring it up and show you. I have my stool. I always have this stool. I have it in my office, tables, every, almost everywhere I have my office. And I use it to support my legs also. Then you need to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. Do your Kegel exercises, your fitness ball exercises. And of course, I've told us about your Pro B. You need to take your Pro B aloe vera gel. They will help you. Feel some grief. They will help you. Fiber if you're having constipation. Constipation can lead to your having pile. And that operation is deadly. I had pile operation before I got to know all these things. And I just regretted it. I said, I wish I knew what I know now. Then I wouldn't have had pie operation. Maybe like, I think I had that operation like, um, maybe like 20 years ago or so. I wouldn't have had that operation if I knew what I know now. And then you can actually um, adopt the means of taking warm water. Warm water will also help you. Okay, the last one we are treating today because it's just four minutes to nine o'clock is heat under your feet. What causes heat under your feet? Menopause can cause you to experience a lot of different symptoms. And one of them is hotness of feet. 
a lot of women call me i'm having heat on my legs what are my feet is feeling hot it's feeling heavy it's feeling dead it's feeling i said this is all symptoms of menopause okay and this is the result of the hormonal changes taking place in your body it's because of the hormonal changes taking place in your body how does it present itself what are the symptoms of this heat under your feet you know it's rare it's a, a few people that will have it okay but it's characterized by redness burning pain in your feet sometimes in your hand and it's often triggered by increase in temperature okay when your body temperature begins to rise a bit then you will not begin to have such pains and what are the remedies number one soak that feet in cold water for at least 15 minutes get a clean cold water and soak that feet there and then avoid exposing your feet to heat okay and then turmeric supplements like forever move fantastic forever move will help remove that heaviness almost you know automatically okay and then active ha also is also very very good these two supplements have plenty turmeric that in the quantity that you need that can actually help you and then make sure that your shoes are comfortable during the day okay and then vitamin b supplement like b12 very very important for you vitamin b supplements like b12 are very very important for you at this period okay this um, b12 plus very very good forever daily even covers all of them that you need and then from time to time you can have massage i have my own massage cream here msm gel just massage in the mornings when i have my bath i do my leg feet massage in the night after having my bath i do my feet massage okay they can help you. you can use your msm gel you can use aloe heat lotion they can all help you so these are some of those conditions that symptoms that we are talking about and remember generally speaking like i told us there are four major things that you need to keep watching and you need to keep following number one is your lifestyle change realize that your body is changing and you need to respect that change you're no more 25 years man <laughs> i can remember what happened the other day i overworked myself i worked and worked and worked and worked when it was not getting to around 9 10 pm and i said oh ma you are you are no more a child you need to go and sleep i didn't know my husband had me <laughs> calling myself for oh, more late in the night like i say you see now all right so you respect your age okay and then you need to exercise exercise is a must for us at this age even if you can't go to the gym even if you can't get your fitness ball and your dumbbells okay see my dumbbells i have my dumbbells around and from time to time i just kick them five minutes like this will go a long way every day to make sure that your your blood is flowing very well okay i have two of them i just use them and i do my exercise to help you especially for those of us who are on the table working you will have better blood flow and you will just send some kind of relaxation all over exercises are very very important then supplementation is not a luxury it's a necessity at middle age it's not a luxury get yourself a set of supplement that can help keep you going and if you need advice on that chat me on my whatsapp number plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two i'll discuss with you find out your lifestyle and then give you a supplement that can keep you at your optimal level because at this stage you need to be, perform optimally very soon a lot of us are going to be retiring okay so when you retire retire in style retire healthy don't retire with walking stick don't retire lying on the bed don't retire making your children carry you from one hospital to the other that's not the best way to retire retire in style retire with good health and good supplements are the things that can help you to keep you at your optimal level and then diet is a must correct diet at this middle age you need to be middle age diet compliant <laughs> your diet must be middle age compliant okay stop eating as if you're a baby you're no more a baby they bring wheat bread a uh, flour bread you carry it donuts you carry it meat pie you carry it rice you carry it yam you carry i don't remember the last time i ate yam i eat rice once a week only on sundays did i eat rice this sunday let me see Yes, I mixed it with plenty beans. So I ate rice and beans this Sunday. 
I eat rice only once a week. Other food are status OG rich foods that I take because I'm respecting my age. I'm respecting middle age. I don't want to very soon somebody will be carrying me to the hospital. No. Respect your age. All right, so I'm going to take any question that just came up lately and then we call it a day because it's 901 and we need to be keeping to time this period, okay? Did any question come? Kiruka said, God bless you, ma. Thank you. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, dear. Chibuza says, excellent teaching. You really appreciate. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the heart. I'm really grateful. If you were not here watching me, it would be lonely. But see, I have people I'm talking with, I'm gisting with, and it makes me happy. Thank you, Marianne. Eteng, I missed you. I miss you. I miss you. Oh, you enjoyed my teaching today. Thank you, Oji Taju. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. NK Wax. Thank you, Eunice Adeleye. Love you all. Love you all. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. God bless you too. Bye. Love you all. So if you're watching the replay, just place hatch replay and ask your question so i can answer your question okay thank you deborah ojo from usa all right thank you enoita thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i must leave now bye